All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. The video that we've all been waiting for, yes, all the YouTubers, all the Minecraft YouTubers at that. I've already made an update video about this and I'm going to make a snapshot video as well because I told you guys I was going to actually make a snapshot video as I do. So we have the cave update slash whatever you want to call it because I don't really know if it's actually going to be called a cave update, but it's the cave update because as you guys can tell, check it out. We have copper ore right here, right in front of our face. It, it's as if I have a mod installed into my game. That's what this kind of looks like. It looks like I'm like going around and it looks like I have one of like rival rebel, whatever the f hell mod I have installed into the game. It just looks so for, it, it just looks like it, I, it's just in, wow. So we have copper ore right here and it's kind of, it's like obviously the same thing you guys, you know, mine the way like normal and then boom we got six copper ore it's th it's the same have night vision on too so we, we can see uh it's actually all over the place now since i was like trying to look for it couldn't really honestly find it and uh yeah just all you have to do is mine it away uh we'll have it and uh yeah we can go on to the next thing because uh we're gonna go into depth on everything um in this update as you guys can tell there's a lot more here it kind of reminds me of iron Maybe a little bit, it's a, I, I don't know. I think it's a maybe a little bit rarer than iron, but we're gonna go ahead and not uh, keeping you guys waiting. We'll go on to the next thing here. Um, you know, the next thing. Now, if you guys are wondering what I'm standing on right here, this is an amethyst geode, or I'm pretty positive that's what that's called. Now, this is uh, a structure that spawns under the ground in this newest update of 1.17. Okay, so we have a uh, amethyst geode as we said and this is the inside of the geode now you guys obviously um are probably pretty excited about this i i don't know if you guys are or not but it's pretty cool i am actually <laughs> pretty it's it's pretty it's pretty cool um not what we thought but the only way we got amethyst was probably or a spawn mod or, or some other mod but the amethyst makes noise so i'm gonna be quiet for a bit and let you guys hear that it makes noise it even makes the noise when you go ahead and <laughs> when you when you just walk all over it it makes a noise when you even even when you mine it now there is actually some different type of blocks um there is blocks that um grow right here so if we grab that we'll grab amethyst shard amethyst shards and uh, you can also grab that but that won't give you a shard obviously because well it's not there so if you mine the normal amethyst block, which is this one right here, these two right here, you get a block of amethyst, go like that. I don't know, you can't really craft any blocks. You can't really do like what you do with iron. So you do have the bud block and you can't actually mine the bud block. Even with silk chutz, you can't mine it with the, blood, uh, the bud block. You can't mine the amethyst bud block even with silk touch, but you can mine the, the original amethyst block. And there's also two blocks that spawn or that generate outside of the amethyst, uh, you know, geode thing uh, is uh, I don't <sighs> calcite. I think that's what it's called. And you have tough, which is the outer layer of it tough. And wow, I like this. It adds so much to the cave now. It's like you have like an actual like big thing that you can see nice crystals i like it it's really awesome so starting off right here we have the ore and um, you guys already seen the ore underground but i just put it right here just because all right so what we do is we can go in here put the uh like the normal stuff i got this we'll get into the spyglass later we'll also get into the thing i actually think i have some stuff so we'll go into what we can do with all this stuff later on i even have extra copper ingots here for the video today now once we go so we're gonna just gonna get into it so we can go and grab the copper ingot you'll get the copper ingots you can go ahead and just keep those and we can go ahead and make the copper block and we'll, we'll make a few blocks here we'll make a few blocks here we'll make at least seven blocks of copper it'll be okay so now what you can do with them four by four you can make some cut copper and we'll just keep that now to make the cut uh to actually make the stairs and stuff uh to make the slabs you need to cut copper as well 
and this is how the oxidization works we'll get into the oxidization as well but four by four you'll get the cut uh the cut copper and the cut copper you'll have to do it to make the stairs and the slabs and the oxidation is the same with both the original copper and the cut copper as well we can get some more of that and make some extra we can make an extra block and we'll go ahead and put that in there now with the oxidization it goes like this and then you have well uh, i think that's semi weathered or like weathered and you got fully weathered copper blocks this is obviously brand new this is like when you craft it uh you can also stop the copper from actually oxidizing and that is where the honeycomb comes in i'm pretty positive it's the honeycomb so we go ahead put that in here put that in here and you get wax copper and now this wax copper will not at all it looks the same it's just this one will not oxidize this one will oxidize and it takes like it takes like 56 i don't quote me on 56 uh minecraft actual minecraft days for it to oxidize but then it gets into this and then to that one into that one and um yeah so if you don't want it to oxidize you can go ahead and do that get the honeycomb and make some wax stuff you can also do it with the cut copper as well you can make wax cut copper and it's just um just a nice little uh, thing that you can you can do with the copper it's nice it's awesome it's great uh, i can see a lot of people building some stuff with the cut copper as well probably if people know how to build the statue of liberty if you can do that you can probably do it with this one because you know people are people know how to build on minecraft but me i don't so we'll just uh keep it on that so that is the copper thing right here we're also going to go over here you guys already seen the the tough and the calcite these obviously spawn and they spawn around the amethyst geode that is underground not really much on that one now we do have birthday candles birthday candles we just have candles we have uh different colors of candles i called it a birthday candle because you can put it on a cake as well if you, you can if you want to that's if you want to and you can also make them go by one two three and four if you want to do that you don't have to but you, you can just do whatever you want with candles uh pretty cool thing i didn't expect them to actually release candles it was weird uh when they're like oh candles in the cave update it's kind of weird um but all you have to do is have a flint and steel to light them up and this is what they look like when they're lit up and uh yeah you can just take it off there um eat the thing it, i guess it floats i don't I, I get i don't know that's just how that works so here we go with the amethyst again this is the original amethyst this is the bud amethyst and i just placed this not too long ago and there's already amethyst growing all over it and this is the stages that it goes on to it goes from this one to this one to this one to this one and so on uh to the fourth one and we have a regular diamond pickaxe here we already have one but we also have silk touch and we have fortune and if you go to this one i'm gonna show you the silk touch yeah uh, you can't grab sorry this is actually a original amethyst i forgot i put it on there so they, they didn't grow so the you can't grab the budded amethyst with silk touch uh you just can't do it i don't know why they they i don't know why they have it like that but they have it like that so i don't know and with fortune so if you get i guess if you do like a normal thing you can grab i have uh, i don't remember what i had like that was eight if you do fortune you can do fortune on these and eight so that's pretty cool if you guys want uh, get want to get fortune you guys can go ahead and get fortune and uh make these because i don't know if they're gonna have any other type of crafting recipe other than what is actually um amethyst is actually used for at the moment um other than that uh amethyst is looking good i like it i like how they have something that was actually the first thing uh it would be all, kind of amazing if they brought ruby back because ruby was in the game but if they brought ruby back that would be awesome because amethyst and ruby are kind of like they're both gems but it'd be pretty cool to see if they brought that back but it, we'll see what comes in the future this is just the first snapshot that i'm uh you know <laughs> getting on so yeah so we'll go ahead and put that back and um yeah so 
this is just uh, how that works um, and they have um this has nice little sounds it's like musical or something and um, if we come over here this is probably the spyglass uh, you can make the spyglass like this just like this and you'll make the spyglass I put it in that chest I don't know why but uh yeah so you can make the spyglass like this do lots of uh, cool looking things you can kind of look um, over there so I don't know what button the other one is. I don't know what it's called. It's like it zooms and it like you get like the uh, slow bits. But this one is kind of the same thing. It kind of does the same thing, but cut off the screen. And it's pretty cool. Spyglass is pretty cool. Um, probably won't use it, but it's cool, I guess. I don't know. It's whatever you guys want. So here's also another minor thing. Um, we'll just take a couple buckets out of this. And... When you guys uh, usually accidentally place water, your rails would be messed up. Obviously, you can put water in between rails. Now, they don't wob. They can stay in water now. It's amazing. Uh, I know. Uh, I had my fair share of, uh, you know, accidentally placing uh, water and <laughs> having all my rails messed up. So, now, now they will just uh, stay in water and not do too much as well they'll just uh, stay in the water and you can ride in water now so i don't i don't know if you're gonna be i mean i don't know why you'd want to go in lava but other than that water they do do that there's also another feature that i didn't place down here uh you can actually place lava in cauldrons now um that's pretty cool i guess uh you can place uh lava in cauldrons now i didn't place that down because i didn't think it was a thing to really be worth you know reporting on other than that uh this update's looking pretty cool uh this is not obviously the full update there's a lot more snapshots to be coming um uh, in so i'll keep you guys all updated i'm not done yet because we have one more thing to uh show you guys and that is tinted glass so if you take the amethyst and you take glass then you take your amethyst and you put it down like this and you get tinted glass just like that and you get two of them for every one that you do. So you can go like this, take those out and make a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to show you guys what it does in here. So we're going to put some tinted glass in here and it has like a nice, like a, a blackish purple kind of look to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, also, <laughs> as you guys seen there, you can grab it with your hand. It's, um, I guess you can just grab it with your hand. I don't know why it's like that, but i they added it like that and i think it's pretty cool don't have to have silk touch on a pickaxe to pick these up so you make tinted glass it's gonna be awesome because tinted glass is um well if you guys uh know it is obviously different than regular glass so if you put glass down it's just gonna break obviously you guys know that all right so if you go inside here you have your thing filled up with tinted glass all you have to do close the door and wow it adds it makes it dark and you can still see through it so it's tinted glass kind of like you know what you would have inside your car or something like that but it's uh kind of amazing um just be in there i don't know if anybody can see through the outside but i know if you lock yourself up it's going to uh cut off all light unless you have a unless if you have a torch and it's it's pretty cool i like the idea i like everything about it it's pretty it is pretty nice so look at that that's amazing so you can have just you, people I, I can see people using tinted glass for lots of things like i can see it being used for like buildings because buildings have like that tinted glass kind of look i can see that happening so uh there's just a lot of new building blocks i can see as uh calcite and uh, tough and uh amethyst can be also used for building uh, i don't know about the bud one because the bud one tends to grow all these amethyst shards our crystals here but i know this one can probably be used for building as well and uh yeah i can obviously copper being used as well copper is probably going to be a big uh use for in building i can see it uh happening even when even with all of them to be honest with this one the weathered and the weathered ones like i can see all that being like this is obviously this is going to be like used maybe i can see it being used for like old abandoned stuff you know and maybe to this you'll have like a little bit of those but like this could be abandoned and then you have like maybe like little bits of new copper it'd be nice it'd be nice so i like the update 
uh, something I've been actually waiting for for a really long time. Um, I even said it inside the <laughs> snapshots of 1.16. Uh, who would have thought that the cave updates would have actually have come? But I obviously they were the most devoted, I guess. That is the snapshot, guys. I'll keep you guys updated if there's any more snapshots. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what's coming next. Uh, let's maybe more. We'll see what comes next in the future. Um, I will keep you guys all updated and stuff like this. So thank you everybody so much for watching this snapshot. I hope you guys are excited for the snapshot. If you guys do like the video, make sure to go down there, hit the subscribe button. There's only, uh, I think 99% of people that aren't subscribed to my channel. What are you guys doing? If you guys like the video, then subscribe. You can always change your mind later. And if you like the video, you guys don't have to. And let me know if you guys like the video, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.